anybody home? All there is. Come on in, Sam. You're all I want to see. Just thought I'd stop by for a second on my way home. By way of an innovation. <laughs> Tired out. Mm. Looking backward. Great waste of time. Have some sherry, Sam. What happened at the trustees meeting yesterday? It wasn't there. I had to go over to Free Prairie to see about some land I'm buying. More land? You must own half the state already. Remember the day you, you drove up in your brand new delivery wagon? <laughs> Do you realize that's over 50 years ago? 50 years ago, the day Midwestern opened. Good morning, Chris. Miss Bishop. A been promoted. Chris, I can't stop you. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not just janitor no more. Chris, I'm late. No. I got so excited no. I forgot my registration money no. and had to run all the way yeah, for it. I'm gardener now. Oh, that's wonderful, Chris. Yeah. I know that some of you have walked miles to get here. And that every day for four years, you'll have to walk those miles through rain, sleet, and snow. But I know this. The end will pay you for those hardships. Because the end is wisdom. Wisdom is first cousin to freedom. And freedom is the glory of our nation and our people. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, here on free land, under free air, we have tried to build a house for wisdom, free to all. Look favorably upon us, O oh Lord. For today, we light a lamp of learning. May it shine through the years to be. Amen. Wisdom is the first cousin of freedom, and freedom is the glory of our nation and our people. Doesn't that give you a thrill, Muff? Yes, Ella. Your milk. Nothing since breakfast. Of course, it was the way he said it. So simply. Oh, he has the most wonderful voice and the most wonderful eyes. Is he married? Oh, Muff. <laughs> what are we going to do with this romantic-minded niece of yours? Come in. Good afternoon, Mrs. Bishop. Good afternoon, Miss Bishop. Buddy, Hello, buddy. Won't you have a cookie? Oh, thank you. Hello, Amy. Hello, buddy. I guess you're busy, Amy. Oh, why? Yes, buddy. Amy, those peas for supper. What was it, buddy? Not ice cream with the drugstore for any chance. Well, Miss Bishop, I thought if Amy said... Please, please. I'll finish the piece, oh, now. Ella, you ain't our dolly. Amy, have the apron. Come on, buddy. Goodbye, Good Ella. Good Goodbye, Good Auntie. Good afternoon, Miss Bishop. Bye. <laughs> Love is certainly working wonders with Buddy's deportment. He'll be kissing our hands next. Ella, you really shouldn't have... Amy's so boy crazy. Oh, no, dear, just 14. But you never acted that way. Well, that was different. We were still on the farm when I was 14, and I was Pa's right-hand man. Remember how thrilled they used to be when he called me that? He was proud of you. I was so proud of him. Oh, Mother, I've thought about him so many times today. He'd have been so happy. Yes. Your father always said, education pays big dividends. That's true, Mother. But with a college diploma, I can teach anywhere. Just think. You and I may go to Kansas City or Chicago, or maybe even New York. Here's Sam. Sam! Oh, Sam! Sam! Oh, oh. Sam! Sam! Oh, wait till I tell you. You don't have to. <laughs> Ma Bishop. Yes? The apples didn't get in today. Had them here first thing in the morning. Early, please. 
Applesauce and pie. First delivery. Cross my heart, Ma Bishop. All right. <laughs> Sam, always so reliable. <laughs> faithful old dog, Trey. I'm not too pleased with faithful old dog, Trey, at the moment. You didn't come to hear about my first day at college. Just came about some old apples. Uh-uh. New apples. September sweetings. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice name. What a nice world, Sam. And you perched right on top of it, huh? The very tip top. Are you sure you don't want to enroll? It isn't too late. Look, Al. See the name on that card? Oh, I know. Something of your very own. Something you started. Not just my own, Al. Oh, good glory, it... Sam. I know book learning isn't everything, but just wait. I'll wait. And the day you graduate... You'll help I'll... me decide which of the millions of teaching offers I'll accept. Like heck I will. For a smart girl, you sure have some mighty pudding head notions, Elle. Imagine figuring you're cut out for a teacher. Well, good glory, Sam. You don't think I'm going to spend all my life teaching, do you? That's all right, then. I've got scads of time, Elle. But someday, I... Oh, Sam, dear, you mustn't. I mean, don't you see, I... I just know you too well. Well, stop. What? Stop. Stop answering questions till they're asked. Johnny, did you ever notice some girls take an awful lot for granted? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Al. Goodbye, Sam. I got some deliveries to make. <laughs> Back up, Johnny. Bye. Bye, Sam. I guess there's no finer man in the world than Sam, but... Good glory, Mother. Now, Ella. I'm not going to be with you forever. I'd like to see you settle down. Oh, you're going to be with me for years and years. And don't worry, I won't be an old maid. I'll know when the right man comes along. But now there's, there's so much to do. made that dress herself. There isn't a girl in the class can touch her. Well, that's an understatement, Dad. There's not a girl in the whole world can touch her. <laughs> There's not a really good-looking man in the whole lot. Amy. Editor of the Midwestern Clarion, <laughs> and now valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, my hat does feel a little bit tight. <laughs> well, if I remember right, you were going to consult me about which of the many teaching You know, Sam, I haven't had one answer to all those applications I sent out. I expect it's too early to hope to hear. Mm -hmm. Guess so. I thought if you knew of an opening in any of the schools around here, I mean, just the prairie grade schools. I... Well, I'm only just back from my vacation. Pretty busy with the fall enrollments and... Uh, yes, and I'm trying to arrange for a new member of the faculty. A young woman to teach freshman English. A girl I've watched pretty closely for four years. An intelligent girl, I think. Anyway, she seems to me to have one quality which is mighty important to the teaching profession. She loves and understands folks. Preston Corcoran, do you mean... Well, of course, I know you couldn't mean... But I can't help thinking you might mean... 
President Corcoran, do you mean I... Oh, dear, dear, dear. That's a heap of repetition in that sentence. For a teacher of freshman English. <sighs> I take it you're going to accept? 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 Well, if I could... If I could only... Well, President Corcoran... <laughs> Good morning, class. I want you please to devote the first ten minutes to the writing of a very brief theme on the subject of my favorite season. Oh, Noah. Oh, I'll have them write on some subject that will teach me something about them. I've got to understand them if I'm going to help them learn anything. Hasn't the teacher come yet? I'm the teacher. Oh, yes, ma'am. My life's ambition is to be a great astronomer. Because since I can remember, the stars to me have been comfort and beauty and like friends. Thank you, Mr. Radchek. Miss Minna Fields. Except to get learning, I ain't got no special life's ambition. Yes. Lasso, <laughs> please come to order. So it just occurred to me, Minna, that with that amazing memory of yours, you might be interested in the librarian's course. It would be an interesting job, wouldn't it, Minna? Oh, yes, Miss Bishop. But, Miss Bishop... Yes, Minna? I... I have got a life's ambition now, Miss Bishop. It, uh, it, it's to be just like you. Professor Wick studied astronomy at Yale. Both he and President Corcoran have agreed that if a student at Midwestern wants a course in astronomy, he shall have a course in astronomy. Oh, Miss Bishop. A report to Professor Wicks in the morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A trip. <laughs> You, Sam. Only Sam, huh? <laughs> and what rugged masculine hearts are you tearing to bits tonight, Amy? <laughs> Larry Winslow's and... And what makes you think it's more than one? <laughs> it usually is. <laughs> well, tonight it just so happened that Larry has the tickets 
And Buddy has a sleigh. Oh. There they are now. Oh. Larry! Buddy! You... Coming! Oh, goodbye, Sam. Oh, and Sam, I almost forgot. Ella can't go with you tonight. She's got a sore throat. I beg your pardon. But I shall have to remind you to whom the sleigh belongs, old man. Oh, buddy. Bob Bishop. Yes? Dr. Samuel Peters coming up to see the patient. Come up, Sam. Please get out the goose grease, the turpentine, and plenty of red flannel. Smell like a paint shop. But you'll be well in the morning. The magic touch of old Doc Peters. Oh. This pen, what? Oh, oh, well, Mother, I thought while I was correcting things, I, I just make some uh, maple snow candy, that's all. <laughs> Professor Bishop, my foot. Good night, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Sam. Oh, uh, thank you, and, and mind you applaud loudly now. Kind of got my mind set to hiss if they sing Believe Me in Parts again. Oh, Sam. Oh, believe me if all those endearing young charms <laughs> for the heart that is truly <laughs> loved and never forgets. Goodbye, dear. Good night, Al. Good night, Sam. Brigade? Oh, no, thank you. I'll, I'll come down a la rescued maiden. Are you sure you can make it? Oh, positive. Oh, uh, oh that is, if you don't mind. Oh, no, of course not. I'll, I'll not only look the other way, I'll, I'll close my eyes. Now you can descend with a free mind. And while you're descending, I shall make all sorts of encouraging sounds, such as uh, steady there and uh, et cetera. Oh, oh. What, can I look? Well, I lost my slipper. Well, oh, I've got it. There it is. Thank you. No, no you don't. Don't what? Don't ruin the most time-honored romantic scene in all the world of fairy tales. Extend your tiny foot, Cinderella. <laughs> well, funnily enough, my name is Ella. 
I'm Ella Bishop. Oh, and I'm the prince in the slipper fits. So now it only remains for me to carry you into the palace. Oh, no, please, don't be absurd. Oh, don't you no, be absurd. No. Oh, well, no, the candy. <laughs> you the can't candy. go plowing through snow with glass slippers. You'd catch your death of pneumonia. Then you couldn't live happily ever after. And you do want to live happily ever after, don't you? I want to be put down here, oh, please. Oh, no, 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 not on a snow-covered porch. That's bad. No, no. Do you know there's an old legend about this? Well, really. <laughs> Let me see, where were we? Uh, oh, yes, here we are. Put me down this minute. <laughs> right in front of the fire. You know, when I save lives, I save them thoroughly. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Delbert Thompson. Oh, you're not Cinderella at all. You're a witch with the gift of second sight. No, I, I'm just a school teacher of average intelligence who lives in a small town where everybody knows everybody's business. <laughs> oh, we all know, for instance, that, that you are a brilliant young lawyer that you're coming to live with Judge Peters, that you're to be his junior partner, and uh, underneath your picture in your class book, it said, mad, bad, and <laughs> dangerous to know. Well, uh, then shouldn't you, uh, in kindness, ask the junior partner to sit down? Oh, I I'm sorry, I can't. My mother's at a concert. Oh, we must observe conventions at all costs, huh? At all costs. Well, I'm glad to have been of service, Miss Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr. Thompson. I'll uh, pay my respects to your mother real soon. She'll be delighted. <laughs> oh, you've got one of those new contraptions. <laughs> I I'm crazy about them. Oh, aren't they marvelous? Huh? My pupils gave it to me for Christmas. Doesn't really work, does it? Of course it does. Listen. See? It's amazing. <laughs> you know, to listen properly, one might sit down over. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No. Oh. Well, I tried. No harm done, huh? No harm. Good night. Good night. I'll call on your mother soon. Oh, uh, in the meantime, Princess, uh, your ruby necklace is most becoming. Thompson rushing out, you mean? Mm -hmm. No, Amy, honey. Well, he's awfully good looking, Sam. Judging from the way he's swarming around Ella, sure must be crazy about her. Who isn't? You've got to let me take you home, Ella. I know the prince should take the princess home. Well, this isn't fairy tales, Ella. It's real. Salute your partner. Will you? How can I? I came with Sam. Nice time, Al. Wonderful, Sam. Tell him. Tell him what? You look mighty pretty, Al. Tell him I'm in love with you. Head over heels in love with you. Probably the wrong floor. Do you, uh, Ella... Uh, Ella Bishop, take this man for your lawful wedded uh, husband? <laughs> of course I do, you fool. And do you, uh, Delbert Thompson, take this woman for your lawful wedded wife? I do. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. Now may I kiss the bride? Please do. like a dream. The end of all dreams. The house. 
red firelight. The man you love. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, dear, but be careful the way you handle it. I'll take it upstairs. Belle's coming for supper, and the bridegroom mustn't see any of the outfit before the wedding day. in the world. No. Amy, we're crazy. I mean, what a crazy mistake. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, Amy, thank you, dear. Put it up in the spare room with yes. the dress. But Dale, you shouldn't have seen the veil. Anyway, I hope it isn't bad luck. How could it be bad luck? <laughs> Dell, I didn't mean it that seriously. You know, you aren't supposed to see the wedding finery before the wedding day. Ella, why can't this be the wedding day? Darling. We can keep it a secret until college is over if we have to, but... What? Oh, sweet. I have to go to Central Hall tonight, a special meeting. We're going to question a pupil, a girl who's been accused of cheating in an examination. Yes, but why not? I know she didn't cheat. And I'm the only one who can help her. I'm going to have a game of cribbage with Judge Peters. Could you two drop me? Of course. Mm, what a moon. <laughs> I thought you were going on the river with Larry Winslow. No, I'm tired of wasting my time on those children. <laughs> Get up, boy. Come on. Give my love to the Peters, Amy. All right. Thank you, Dale. Good night, Amy. President Corcoran. Come in, Miss Bishop. I'm sorry to be late. Not at all. And so, much as I regret the necessity, I feel that on evidence submitted, Miss Fields should be expelled. Miss Fields' paper contains whole pages from the textbook reproduced word for word. Minna, did you have a textbook in the examination room? Oh, no, Miss Bishop. I learned by heart. 